recently I've been playing a lot of VR games. However, one VR game I haven't been playing is Super Hot VR. You know, the game with the red guys in the cool slow motion. And there's a very simple reason for that. I can't afford it. And so I was just sitting there one day, you know, not playing Super Hot when I realized, wait a minute, I can sorta of make games. Why don't I just make Super Hot myself? And so I did. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I did was open up Unity and create a new project because I'm using Unity for this. Then I installed the Steam VR plugin sync for VR support and set up a little scene. This is a little scene. I then made the scene a bit bigger and got to work on adding some basic shooting mechanics because Super Hot has those. So I opened up Blender and loosely followed the shape of the Super Hot pistol because modeling is hard. A short while later I had a nice chunky pistol thing which I then imported into Unity where I set up scripts for picking it up. And yes, looking pretty good. You can pick up the guns, throw the gun, juggle guns, and that's pretty cool. Except that, well, it doesn't really function as a gun. So I got to work on adding some basic shooting. I modeled a simple bullet sing in Blender and then added a trail to it to create the super hot bullet sing. Then I programmed a pretty simple script to fire and hit things and stuff, added some particle effects, and bam. Murder. That is, it would be murder if these cube things were alive. So let's add some enemies. This part was actually pretty quick as I happened to have a low poly human model from my last video and well... Meet Jeffrey. He's a red boy, enjoys long walks on the beach, and is paralyzed from the forehead down. Obviously he's not very exciting currently, so let's make him move. So back to Blender it is. I spent a couple minutes animating and managed to throw together some pretty nice animations. Then I exported them into Unity and set up a very basic enemy controller script to make the enemies shoot at the player. Very, very basic. The enemies just kind of rotate while the bullets make seemingly impossible maneuvers towards the player, because that's how aiming works. But hey, it works, and I was too lazy to set up a proper solution, so yeah, it's good enough. Then, to get it to run around, I just used the Unity Nav Mesh system to pathfind to the player while playing the running animation, which surprisingly worked pretty well. And finally, I added some code to handle getting shot and made the enemy ragdoll in death and drop its weapon. Pretty cool. Except if you've played Super Hot before, you've probably noticed one big difference between this game and Super Hot. Besides the fact that this game is doo-doo. That's right, it's the shattering. In Super Hot, whenever things collide or enemies die, they shatter. But in my game, they don't. And the reason why is actually very simple. It's because I find ragdolls to be very funny. And you can't have a ragdoll if everything you touch gets smashed to bits. And also, now that the enemies are ragdolling, I decided to run with it and allowed the player to grab enemies, because tell me this isn't the most entertaining gameplay you've ever seen. But I also didn't want the game to be completely devoid of shattering, so just for fun I added some shattering windows because fuck you, Jeffrey. And now pretty much every mechanic of the game is implemented and mostly working. That is, except for the main defining feature of the game, the slow motion. So I implemented that. But first I should probably explain what it is in case you haven't played Super Hot before. Basically, in Super Hot, the main concept of the game is that time stops when you stop moving. So to implement this, what I did was just track the location of the hands and head and checked if their velocity crossed a certain threshold, using some spooky mass. Then, when they do, I smoothly interpolate the time scale down to get that nice smooth slow-mo effect. I also added some post-processing effects to get a bit more visual feedback that the player is in slow motion. And it looks pretty nice, but it's a tad jank as slowing the time scale also messes with the physics and object velocities. And if you, for example, throw something in slow motion and then go back to normal speed, this happens. But I thought this was pretty hilarious, so I kept it in, as a feature. And now the gameplay is complete. With that out of the way, I started working on level design and designed a level. I also added one or two melee weapons because I wanted to. And by this point, the game is nearly finished. Now I just have to add the level progression system and I'll be done. Now the way Super Hot works is that in each level you start off in a certain location and can't move until you've brutally murdered all the red boys at that location. Then this thing appears and when you grab it you teleport to the next part of the level where you beat up more red boys. I implemented this with what I think is a pretty decent solution. Basically I first set up the teleportation points for each stage of the level, which managed teleporting the player around. Then I had to add enemies, which seemed pretty simple at first and I thought I could just drag them into the level or something. Except that that means that they would all instantly start attacking the player the second the level started, instead of at their designated stage. 
So I set up a little system where the enemies are only spawned when they're needed at their designated spawn locations, which is triggered by the player teleporting. Then it was just a matter of counting how many enemies are still alive and adding the teleport block to move on when they're all dead. And last of all I added dying for the player and set up a system to reset the level back to the beginning if the player gets hit. And yeah, it all worked pretty well. It's not very pretty but BD takes effort, and I'm not a fan of effort. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Here is the entirety of Knock Off Super Hot VR in all its janky broken glory. And with that, the project was finished. I had successfully created really jank super hot. But I think it turned out pretty well, or at least better than I thought it would. It doesn't look too hot, but personally I think the gameplay more than makes up for that. But maybe I'm just weird. But with that, I'm gonna end the video because I've run out of things to talk about. So smash like, smash sub, accidentally smash your computer monitor while using VR, I'm out. See you in the next one.